and we are back playing Subnautica. Look at this creep just looking at me. <laughs> She's been hanging out. Alrighty. Let's continue on our exploration. I'm wondering if maybe I should even bother looking in here. I guess I should. I'll do it quickly. Uh, so right now, where are we? Uh, sea Treasure's Path. Oh, all these arms. I think I got this last time. Yeah, I didn't need to do that. It's okay. But there's heaps of arms in here. Oh, here we go. Not that this matters too much anymore, but still. Oh, we even have it, so that's all good. Alrighty. So, I wanted to say something somewhat quickly. Well, not really. Um, as you guys know, there is, um, what do you call it, an expansion for Subnautica that is coming out actually in the next few days, which is really good timing. So I was thinking, and I wanted to ask you guys, would this be something you would like to see me live stream? <laughs> so, if that is the case, uh, hi. <laughs> um, if that's the case, um, I do all my live streams through Twitch. Uh, when did I pick up the eye? I don't remember that. Um, yes, yeah, so I will be streaming through Twitch. It just depends what day it comes out because um, it comes out on the 31st of January, which is only a couple days away. And I tend to stream on a Thursday. So it might be that I stream it on a Thursday or a Friday, which would mean a Wednesday or a Thursday for any American viewers. What is that? Oh, it's just you making a lot of noise. All right. Oh, hang on. I need to bring out the map again so I know where I am. So yeah, if you would like to see me live stream um, below zero, I think is what it's called, please let me know. All right, I think I know where we're going. Not that I even have a compass. So, go this way. And it's dark. But yeah. It just depends what day it comes out because it might be the 31st of January in like a different time zone. So, what's the 31st of January for me here in Australia? It might not actually come out. I might have to actually wait another day. It just depends. But let me know if you want to see that through a live stream, which I probably will do anyways. All right, I'm just exploring the sea treaders path, but uh, not really seeing much of anything. Hello, Warper. Ooh. What is this? Membrane trees. Oh! Okay. <laughs> uh, are you good or bad? <laughs> I kind of want to go out and scan it, but uh. Well, this is called the Sea Charter's Path, so... Yeah, I'll save. <laughs> Always save, just in case. Oh, there it is. Okay, I guess that's a Sea Charter. Could probably infer that, but... Hi. Uh, sea Treader Leviathan. I don't know, it's big. I wouldn't say it's Leviathan big. Hang on, I'll follow it. There's just a bunch of you around here. Hang on, let's, let's read that. Uh, are you a herbivore or a carnivore? No. Small. Oh, Leviathan. Duh. Sea Treader Leviathan, a vast bipedal leviathan which roams the reef is, reefs in herds grazing the seafloor. Uh, antennae. Antennae on the creature's head can detect a range of scents, helping the sea treaders to find fresh grazing pastures, avoiding the path of large predators, and sense chemical signals from others of their kind. 
Sorry, I'm just a bit unwell again, and I'm a bit congested, so I kind of sound a little funny. Uh, thick armor protects the creature from attack by, um... Oops, thick armor protects the creature from attack by all but the largest of carnivores. Two legs extend from the rear. Oh my god, I need to blow my nose because I'm... I can't breathe. <laughs> Used to siphon up plant material from the seafloor and maintain balance. La 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 la. Sea trader herds may unearth mineral deposits as they churn up the sand. That's cool. Uh, families keep their young towards the center of the herd, and parents will lash out over curious interlopers in search of an easy meal. So are you saying if I get too close to you, you'll get slightly upset with me? That's fair. I wonder if I should just follow them. I wonder if they, maybe they just make like a loop around. Yeah. Other than that, there's really not too much else I'm seeing here. I want to take a better look at them. And yes, I do like taking screenshots. <laughs> okay, bush. Alright, um... They're not doing too much, but I... I'll just leave them to it, shall I? <laughs> Alright. I'll leave them alone. Very weird. Very alien. But yeah, I'll leave them alone. Alright, uh, where else, where else, where else haven't we gone? I think we still need to go to the crag field, which isn't too far away. I think it's next to the Grand Reef, which is also not that far away. We'll see. Alright, I'm back at this arch. Now, do I have food and drink on me? Mmm, just drink. That'll do. That's alright, we're not going that far. If I can remember where we're going. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, okay. What's that? Oh, no way. Did I just find another time capsule? No. Oh, damn. That is lucky. G good luck, survivor. Oh, shit. That's the second one I've found. I wonder how many you can find per game. Alright. Uh, this little cute friend will help you get through tough times and be careful with the knife. Ah, uh, you telling me that you gave me another cuttlefish. You did? <laughs> I could have three cuttlefish if I want to. Ah, oh, and they gave me the thermo blade. Cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate consumption. Oh man. You didn't do a screenshot, but well, that's okay. Ah, oh, I have to start thinking about what I'm putting in my time capsule. I thought about, like, maybe putting the cuttlefish in there, but I'm guessing I have to, like, put it in there as an egg and not when it's hatched. All right, well now I've got another cuttlefish. That's nice of them. Oh. Guess it's daytime now. Also, if I press, that should tell me where I am. So sparse reef, that's what I want. And then if I just go to the east. Let's try this way. Wow, another time capsule. Yeah, I kind of wonder what the limit is on how many of those you can get, but maybe there is none. Alright, this looks familiar. Been here before. Alright, I think if I just keep going... Ooh, this way... <laughs> it should be okay. Because we've been here so many times, like, this is like... Uh, our way to the Grand Reef, but we're just kind of... Skipping over it this time. Uh... Hang on, maybe I should... I don't know. Go this way. Alright, alright, there we go. So here's the Grand Reef. And it should just be on the other side of it? We'll see. We'll just kind of trail along. And hope that we don't run into any leviathans. 
Uh, kelp forest here. Hang on, let me just check the map. Ah, yes, it should be like really close by then. Sorry, I like double checking. Ugh. Bony. Hi, Bony. Okay. I think we're going the right way. Oh, this must, must be it, I think. Uh, maybe? I'll double check. Yes! Okay. Stop it! Piss off. <laughs> Okay. So this is it, the crag field. So what's her face? This computer should say something. I hope. It's looking pretty bare. It's just rocks. And bonies. What's that? I think that's a scanner room fragment. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, something screeched at me. I'm like, what was that? <laughs> you think I'd be used to all the... Uh, all the animals and shit here, but no. <sighs> That's... Was a bad scare. Shucks. I just want to look around. Not cool. Bunch of eye stalks. I think this, if I go down this way, I'm just heading back to the Grand Reef. And also, someone let me know that you can see the Sea Emperor babies around, but... Stop. Yeah, I was hoping I would see one, but it doesn't look like it. I don't know, it's getting pretty big and open out here. Yeah, I'm not really sure there's much here. I mean... It's not the most interesting biome. Damn it, you're the worst. But I think this is pretty much the last biome for us to check out. It's a shame. What the hell is this? Oh. Huh. Have I been here before? I might have been here before. I'll have a look. Um. Oh, I'm walking. Because I know one of the portals led to like the outside, so this must be one of them. Yeah, it looks like it. I'll double check. Because I didn't know where this one... Yeah, okay, so that, I've, I've been here before. I just didn't realize it was in the crag field. Because it was dark at the time and I couldn't see shit. <sighs> Hello, crab. Alright, so that was uneventful. But yeah, I don't know if there's really any other places to explore. We've been to all the biomes now. <sighs> Stop it. Stop your nonsense. I could explore a little more. Oh, it's still a shark. But yeah, like even the map like says there's no wrecks here. I might just have to go back, unfortunately. I hate to say it, but I think it might be time to finish the game. Which I'm getting a little sad about. But yeah, let's just head back for now. So I'm gonna need food and water anyways. But yeah, I really wanted to see if I could find the Emperor. Maybe I should just look up where they are. I mean, I could probably guess where they are. They're gigantic, so... Ooh. They're big, are they? Oh. 
Yeah. Will they be big yet? I guess they would be. Hasn't been that long, has it? Life pod seven. Uh, I don't think I've actually been to this life pod. Because I can see something inside. Toy car. Uh, gray cap. PDA. Oh, what the fuck? Someone's head's here. New PDA data. Unusual doll. Ah, uh, yeah, I know what this is. <laughs> yeah, I know what you are. Are you? Hang on. <laughs> uh, I won't say what it is. I'll make it if I can. I didn't get a blueprint from it though. Did I? Uh, we'll probably just see it here. There it is. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who that is. <laughs> uh, yes, I know exactly who that is. Mr. Marky Moo. Yes, yeah, so Markiplier has obviously played this game. And I guess they put him in the game, which is a really nice thing to do. They still got his red hair. Uh, I do watch Markiplier. Well, not as much as I used to, anyways. He's funny. Alright. Uh, Alright, everything's looking pretty bright and normal. But yeah, I think it's about time we end things. I don't want to, but... Actually, no, it's not the end, because we're going to be playing Below Zero. And that's only like a couple of days away, which is awesome. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. So if anything, this is like the perfect time to finish up because we can just start fresh and yeah, it'll be fun. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So we got to make sure we get our time capsule ready. Oh, uh, what am I going to put in there? I know Smarter Gaming in the comments suggested that I put in the depth modules, which is actually a really good idea. Um, I was thinking about putting in a bunch of tablets, but I only ever used one orange one. I used a lot of purple ones and I used, um, is it two blue ones, I think? Yeah, but I think you can fit like six things in, so I'll have a think about it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh yeah, food. I'm like, why did I come in here? Food. Oh, should I put this stuff down? I know it doesn't really matter anymore, but I'll put this stuff down. Uh, Do I have a building tool? I do. I'll just make another shelf. Ugh. Hang on, I'll just put it next to it. Is that the same shelf? Does it look like the same shelf? Oh, whatever. Uh, hang on. I'll, 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 I'll make Markiplier. Hang on. I'll be cool. If I have any glass, which I'm guessing I don't. No, I don't have any glass. Hang on. No, 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 no. We've got time. I'll, I'll make it a longer episode. I'm not gonna split the ending in half. I just need two quarts. Quartz, quartz, quartz. Um, there's some. Gimme, 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 gimme. Alright, just one more. Come on, it should just stand out. Probably just gone right past it already. Quartz. There we go. Alright, awesome. Okay, I guess I can dock you. That I need to. 
Alrighty. Uh, uh. Uh, oh, I have to actually make it. Hang on. So I didn't get a notification about the life pod I went to, so I'm not sure why that is. Maybe they just don't have have any. Who knows? Alrighty. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, it's a bobblehead, is it? Hang on. There's no room to put you. <laughs> I'll put you here. Oh, this is a bit finicky. Why is it like that? So at least if I stand too close, it won't work. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, deconstruct. Oh, that's uh, like his outro theme. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm a little jealous that <laughs> he's in this. Uh, what was the other thing I got? Toy car. Eh, put it down. I'm clicking. Oops. I'm clicking, why is it getting put down? Alright, well I can't seem to be able to put it down, so... Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's get back on track. I wonder if I need to take stuff for the trip home. Um, I could give the thermo blade away. Um, useless glass container. No, I imagine some people have like put just a bunch of titanium in there or nothing at all. That would. That would hurt my soul. Uh, let me think. So, we've got the Cyclops here. What modules would I have on the Cyclops? I think Prawn Suit would probably be more important. I'm just gonna take out All some of this. Uh, if I were to do that, it would be... Ion cubes, okay. Oops. Because I could just like give away some of my modules. Uh, sonar, thermal reactor. That one was a really damn good one. The thermal reactor one. I think I'll make that one of my things I chuck in there. Should I give them the depth module? I think I'll give them the prawn suit one. Cause uh, that one's a lot better. Oh, I could give them the arms as well. Ooh, there's a lot of choices here. Hang on, I need to. My inventory is a bit too full. I'm just gonna get rid of some of my stuff while we prepare for our journey. Um. Yeah, so I was thinking of making a blue tablet and maybe a purple tablet, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'll just make one. Do I have any? I think it needs... Oh, what did that one need? Is it diamonds? Let's see. There we go. Okay. Alright, so they've got that. Um, I'm carrying a lot of useless stuff in here. Um, just give up the toy car. That's not a dick move. Probably put all this away. Uh, any reason I'm carrying a power cell? I don't know why I would be. Okay. So let's see. So I've got the prawn suit. I think that should be okay. I could give them... Mm, no, that's okay. I don't know which knife I should give. Oh, well, I'll just keep it in my inventory. I can decide later. 
So maybe just one more thing. What would I give? Something small. Um, 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 um. I could just give them the cuttlefish. Cause I like I already have two. I don't need another one. So that could that could be a good idea. It's like a passing it on sort of thing. Cause I don't need it, but I can give it to someone else who does. Yeah, that's a nice thought. Okay, let's go with that. All right. Um, other than that, I don't think we really need anything else. Like I doubt you have to like pack for the trip. That'd be funny if you do actually. I'd be so dead. Okay, I'll hit the save button, and we'll go. Okay. Uh, oh man, this is kind of making me a bit sad. Hang on a second. Before I go, I want to say goodbye to my cuttlefish. Because this might be really it, so... Gotta get... It's gotta get emotional. I wish I could take them. No, at least they have each other though. Hello. <laughs> Yay. Do the petting one. Cute. Too cute. Oh, say farewell. <gasps> Hang on, I want it to be daytime. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I just want to probably see this. I just want to make the most of my goodbye. Uh, where'd you go? This one. Come here. No, 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 don't, don't swim away from me. I want you. Oops, sorry, that was the wrong one. No, oh, that's so cute. Ah, uh, do I have to go? <laughs> I don't want to go. Hang on, I'll say goodbye to you too. So I keep pressing the wrong, the wrong one. Come here. And yeah, I am taking some screenshots of them. Oh, it's so sweet. Uh, the... Damn it. Can I like build maybe like an aquarium in there and I'll put them in? No. That would be cruel. Oh. At least they have each other. And I can't stay here forever. Okie dokie. Uh, save. <laughs> this is very final. Oh shit, actually, before I forget. I didn't even request for this, but someone actually um, had a really good name. Oh, this rocket so I'm gonna do it. So smarter gaming you always come up with some really cool stuff I'm just saying. There you go hopefully I spelled that right. The Icarus. Let's hope our wings don't melt off and we fall into the sea and die. <laughs> okay go. I feel like there should be some really epic music right at this moment. Okay. All right, before I boop any of the other boopers in here, I'm gonna climb up and do the time capsule. Alrighty. Uh, I wouldn't even know what to write to this. I don't know. Okay, let's put stuff in it. All right, so we've got our two tablets. We've got our thermal reactor module. Uh, we've got our prawn soup death, de, 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 depth module. 
Uh, should I give him the Thermo Blade or the Hardened Blade? Uh, I never really used it to like defend myself, like the Hardened Blade in particular. I only really used it to get Stalkers off my ass, which even then I didn't do a lot. And I feel like maybe the Thermo Blade would have much better use because it cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate consumption, which is probably something I should have carried with me um, when I had my long trip. So I think I'll give them the Thermo Blade. I know it's kind of weird that I'm like gifting a present that was gifted to me, but I don't need it and someone else, someone else might. Um, and yeah, the cuttlefish. Like I said, I have so many cuttlefish already, I don't need them. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Image, I take lots of screenshots. Press F11 to take a screenshot. Ah, uh. oh, right. So I have to use the PDA to do it. Hang on. Damn it. I was taking... Hang on, how do I get out of this? It's not done yet. I'll just take a quick screenshot. I thought I could maybe just select one from the ones I take through Steam. But does it seem to be the case? Uh, what would I take a picture of? Can I just jump off here and not die? Hang on. Guess I do die. Wee cannonball! <laughs> I actually did a proper dive when I did that. I gotta. Yeah, sorry. I, sorry. We're almost done. I promise. But yeah, I'll just take a picture of the cuttlefishes. Since they're so sweet. Come here, come here, come here. I'm just gonna take a whole bunch. Maybe not that one. Hang on. Do it again. Do it again. I missed my opportunity. Where the hell is F11? There. Sorry. Me. All right, how did that go? <laughs> it's a very silly one. <laughs> Maybe just one more. I'll leave it at that. All right. I'm sure someone's gonna look at that screenshot and go, what the fuck is that? Got that one. Okay, that's a pretty good one. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna use that one. <laughs> it's like, uh. All right, now we're actually going. And I noticed that you couldn't say goodbye to them again, so. Uh. They knew. All right, oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. All right, I think I might have to call the elevator down again. Yeah, okay, maybe I shouldn't have dive bombed off here. Oh well. One last thing to do before I go. This is a weird experience, like kind of choosing when you want to finish the game. Because realistically, I don't think I want to. Okay. Alright, let's finish up the time capsule. Alright, that one. <laughs> Select. Yay. Alrighty. Message. Uh, oops, hold on. Sorry, I spell hello. Uh, hello, Survivor. I wish you all the best on your adventure. I hope that these tools will serve you well. 
if I remember wrong. I know that's corny, but there we go. Okay, so hello survivor, I wish you all the best in your adventure. I hope that these tools will serve you well. Remember, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. I'm so corny. Aren't I good? All right, uh, ready. I think we're good to go. Uh, what do I hit now? Time capsule ready. Oh, okay. Uh, time capsule ready. How do I make it go? <laughs> um, oh, maybe in here? Rocket not ready. Hang on, I'll just save. Maybe I have to boot up everything first, so I'll do that first. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know how to- I don't know what I'm doing. Uh... Okay. Auxiliary power unit online. It's a nice voice for the rocket. Communications systems array active. Okay. Pressurizing hydraulics. Okay, I think that was it for down here. So cinematic. All right. Uh. Life support systems online. Okay. Primary computer systems active. Okay. Is that it? <laughs> All systems are go for lift off. Okay. Launch rocket. What about the time capsule? Will that just go on its own? Um. I don't know if it'll just go on its own. Hang on, hang on. Before before I do anything horrible, just give me one second. Okay guys, I'm back. I just wanted to quickly make sure like I wasn't making any mistakes. Um, but what I realized and what um what was actually pointed out to me was that putting things in the time capsule, um, how do I say this? Um, it could be a, like a big game changer for the person who gets these. And I thought that maybe I shouldn't actually put the tablets in because I think maybe it kind of spoils maybe the plot a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm like explaining myself well, but um, I'm kind of giving people an easy way out um, with the purple and the blue tablet, especially the blue tablet. And I think maybe it's not the best idea to put in there. So what I decided to do instead is I got my Seamoth Solar Charger out. So I'll chuck that in there instead. And what I think I'll do is I also got my whole reinforcement one. So I can, I mean, you can put that in like the prawn suit or the Seamoth. So I'll give them that too. So I'll leave it at that. So I got the Thermal Blaze, got some Cuttlefish, uh, the Reactor Module, Solar Charger, whole reinforcement and prawn suit. I mean, you could, you can make the same argument with the prawn suit as well. But with this, I think it it cuts time off the plot, I think. And I wouldn't want to spoil the plot for anybody because this game is awesome. Time and working for it is important. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this all right? Oh, pff, there was a delay when it said that. So I think this is all ready. And I'm pretty sure it'll just launch once we get in the chair. So sorry about the delay. But I think maybe that was the right thing to do. Oh, there we go. Leave only time capsules. Go among the stars. So those are just a couple of achievements. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch in ten, nine, eight, oh, seven, birds, six, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Kaboom! Time capsule Alright, there it goes. Alright, I wasn't sure if you had to do that separately, but it does it automatically. Awesome. Oh man.
caution. Approaching orbital debris. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Great, it's all going to shit. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Wow, so this whole planet is just water, isn't it? I can see like lots of little specks of like an island. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three. Two. One. Holy hell. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Wow. What is a what wave is without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different. But they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. Uh. Oh my goodness, that's it, guys. <laughs> that's Subnautica, holy crap. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. But during that scene, uh, right as we um, kind of went through that freaky like tunnel of sorts, um, if you looked at the planet, you could see that there was ice on it, which I guess kind of hits towards the um, the below zero, which is going to be coming out in the next few days. Oh wow, this music! Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh man. How many episodes of this did I make? I think I'm actually up to 40 episodes of Subnautica. That was a long game. And Sea Emperor Lani Minella. You've got a beautiful voice. I just want to say I really like the voice of the Sea Emperor. But oh my god, that's it guys. What to say? I'm I'm sad that it's come to an end, but at the same time, we've got Sub-Zero to look after. Sub-Zero below zero to look out for. Which is going to be amazing, and uh, what was I going to say? Um, I mean, production babies. Are these the babies that were born during the production of the game? I guess that would make sense. Um, but yeah, this game is so awesome. I mean, you have to see it for yourself. Like the amount of effort the devs put into this, like you can really see the amount of love they put into it. Like. Even just the PDA alone, like all the data entries, like someone had to write all those entries and then make all the designs for that. And there's like hundreds of entries. Permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits. Oh, I'm in debt, <laughs> but I lived and I beat it. Ooh. Okay, and yeah, so I was just saying, um. Yeah, they clearly put a lot of love into this game and lots of very fine detail. And like, this isn't even like a triple A game. These are independent developers. So they did a fantastic job. And it's finally time to put an end to it, unfortunately. But it's not the end yet, is it? I know I've said it so many times already, but I'm really looking forward to uh, the below. Oh yeah, you can see right here, the below zero early access. And yeah, so I will probably stream that one in the next few days. And that's something that we can all look forward to. So thank you so much for watching. As usual, you're more than welcome to like and subscribe and hit the cool YouTube buttons. I'm on a few social media platforms. All the links are in the description below. Thank you guys for joining me on this really awesome, scary and fun adventure that is Subnautica. I'll see you guys in the next video.